Hello guys, King Happy here, and welcome back to another King Talks episode. So, if you're new to this, I say this every single time, these are my own opinions, this is a podcast or video with backing footage in the background. Today we've actually got some fast forward footage of me doing something a little bit crazy on my Let's Play world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't start started doing that, but now it started, we're going to keep going with that. So anyway, today's topic, we are talking about Minecraft community. And this is something I want to talk about for a little while now. But there's been bits of it which have come up which I thought are good things I want to talk about and things I had to say about. But on their own, they weren't really enough to make a whole episode of this out of. But now there's enough of them such so I want to lump them all together and make a sort of overall episode on the sort of Minecraft community. Because I've been with the Minecraft community for a year and a bit now. I've been on YouTube for a year and a bit now. Um, so I've developed the game since 1.2.4. I'm not a alpha game. I'm not a pre-beta thingy whatever else. So I've developed since then. And at the moment I think I'm technically quite good at what I do. And when I sit down and design something, I can design something that I actually... Where I think works well and I really enjoy it and that's what I like doing now I like making my designs put them in let's play and enjoying them and you know, who's not going to enjoy that <laughs> it's fun for me and I like sharing them with other people it's a nice community thing to do so the first thing I'll talk about is redstoners versus survival players so this is what I've kind of said very very briefly at some point before but there are different parts of the Minecraft community. So for me, I'm a survival player. I do some building creative and stuff, but only enough to test things and then build them in survival. All the things I build are for survival. They're not for map making or anything else like that. They're not just for creative needs. You know, some people just make stuff for the sake of it and creative, and it doesn't even need to have a purpose. It's just fun for them. People can do whatever they want in the game. It's what you get enjoyment from. And for me, I like to have a purpose to what I make. So when it comes to redstoners, there are a large amount of redstoners in the community. And there are a lot of them which are very, very good at it. They do a lot of redstone. Now, I don't really do much redstone, but over the year or so, I've picked up quite a lot of things for it, and I'm very quick to learn new bits about it. I haven't really ever sat down and tried to learn it as a sort of topic or anything. Um, if I did, I think I'd do it very well, but I just haven't wanted to sit down and do that. So I'm learning things as I go, and my builds develop and change, and for me that's what is interesting. I iterate my designs, I look back at them and say, now I've learnt this, this and this, or there's new things in the game, how can I then change that and make it better, or change it for some other reason, and make a new one. And that's what I like to do. Um, so a lot of redstone is just build stuff, and you know, there's all the thing about making things compact. Now this is a something that I I'm not interested in in the slightest. As a survival player, I build things to whatever space I want it in. If it's too big for the space, then I'll try and make it smaller. If it's not small enough, then it won't go there. Now, that's the kind of point of it. <laughs> there isn't a need to compact unless you've got a space requirement. Of course, nice to have more compact things if you really want to, but recently, in the last mm, number of months, maybe four months or so, there's been a change in the community, I felt. Minecraft has become incredibly popularised in the last year, which I've been in it, um, but incredibly since the last six months or so as well. And most of this I'm going to put down to sort of Xbox, because Xbox took off like a rocket for the Minecraft Xbox version. It's incredibly popular now, and so the fan base gets sort of bloated. And having a massive rush of new people in like that isn't always good for a community. So the Minecraft community has always been said to be a really nice community. Everyone's always friendly, everyone wants to share their ideas and things. You know, people aren't really rude, you know, people are constructive, people want to work with each other, people want to help each other and have fun together. That has been the case mostly since I've been in the community. And the Minecraft community on YouTube are genuinely quite nice to each other. They try and help each other, they sort of suggest things to each other and they talk to each other and they build things together. Some nice things about to do. That's a community. 
But in the last number of months, there's been a dramatic change, like I said. And one of those things is sort of the redstoners and compacting stuff. To a point where if you don't compact things, then you're obviously bad at what you do. And people get incredibly aggressive about it. Um, so a lot of people sort of say, we want this more compact, or make a more compact version, or make a bigger version, make something that does 50,000 times the things, because we want to see it. 99.999% of those people will never, ever build that design in survival. They will never do anything else. They might download a world download and play with it for a couple of minutes, but that's as far as they'll go. They're just interested in seeing things happen, like someone wants to see, I don't know, let's say a firework explode because it looks pretty it's fun for a couple of seconds but they don't sit there and sit there and like make them and buy them and things that's a waste of time they don't have time for that they don't want to do that they just want to see the final product that's it a little flash of excitement and then moving to something next sort of so it's fine for that I'm I'm okay with that I build things in my survival world and design them in creative sometimes and show them to say this is what I've come up with this is what I've done, share my ideas, they may be similar to some other people, some other people obviously are going to come up with similar things, there's so many people in the community, people obviously have going to have done it before, maybe people might have done it a bit differently, it may be similar to other things, but that's how it goes, there's only so many things you can do in Minecraft. Um, and also the point that 99% of the time, someone that doesn't do YouTube videos would have done it first. Believe me. <laughs> there are some people that do very very cool things not on YouTube which surpass pretty much everyone on YouTube and you'll bet you'll never ever see any of that but they are out there and they do do those things um, you don't have to post a video to be the first <laughs> um, so yeah the point I'm making between the redstoners and survival redstoners make things for fun survival people make things for survival so if I design something for survival and it has functionality I'm very strong with functionality. There's no point building something where you have to kind of move around the whole thing to get to a lever that's hidden because that's the most compact way of doing it. It doesn't make any sense for a survival world. You'll never build that in a survival world in that way. So when they say it's a 2 by one by 8 door or something and the lever's stuck in the ground somewhere in some circuitry, it's not actually going to be that small when you actually make it in practice because it's you can't really use a lever down the floor somewhere <laughs> sort of hidden under circuits so it gets the point that you get some people that are competitive or compacting stuff that's fine that's good people progress with designs the ideas get shared that's good and there's a point where things get aggressive so there have been cases where some channels have been sort of baiting and trying to claim they're better than other channels let's just say that by saying things are too big or oh this thing isn't compact enough here's our really compact version ours is much better and everything else some of these people that have done that have sort of blanketly said ours is better and more compact the audience has said oh that must be more compact that looks good these numbers say that the dimensions are smaller awesome but some people have been going even more further than that such as losing sort of features of the design sort of making it less of a actual functional thing as it was before by saving tons of components and things and just saying this does the same sort of thing therefore it must have gone more compact but it doesn't actually do everything the previous one did so it kind of gets a bit aggressive there and that sort of thing is very unprofessional in a YouTube state um, and that annoys me when it comes to normal survival things so I make things survival all the time I don't generally make videos on many of them, I just put them in my world, it's just what I do. Um, for me they're just logical things that I've been doing for ages. But if someone sits there and looks at it and says, this looks like so and so's design, or this is so and so's design, or you must have copied so and so's design, that is not a community, that is just being aggressive. Um, and that's where the community has changed, it's gone from a nice community to I'm not saying it's changed completely, but there is a portion of people which are very aggressive. And my biggest problem with the community at the moment is aggressive fanboys. And we'll say fanboys as someone that sort of believes one YouTuber is their sort of Minecraft Jesus. And obviously they can never be wrong, no one else can do anything better than them, no one else can do anything before them. 
and that's where it gets frustrating for us smaller YouTubers such as myself if I make anything doesn't matter what it is if someone else says oh this must be so and so's design or so and so's on something similar like you've made a mob farm no one else has made a mob farm before this person you must be copying them things get really really weird on comments and it gets very very annoying lately anyone saying you've copied so and so because you've done a X farm that farm has been done before you must be copying even though you've done it pretty differently you must be copying those people are generally just blocked nowadays because I cannot spend the time to deal with those people because it's just not worth my time no, I don't want to deal with that I'm not here to deal with people on a personal level with negative comments no, there's a block button that's what it's used for if you're not con contributing to the videos and the community that I'm making here then you can go do that elsewhere it's really none of my concern um, if you're sitting here to hurt a channel then <laughs> you can leave so when it comes to compacting you know, I build things as they go I build functionality I'm not focused on compacting things sure I make something you know, like a flower farm or a nano farm or something they've been done before of course they have there's hundreds of designs when someone says you've copied so and so or this is so and so's design then they're obviously very misinformed about the sort of community because I've grown up with the community last year like I said and I've seen these farms developing when they first came out and what people have done things with them how they've changed different components and such and this is just my iteration of that that I then produce some people haven't seen that process so they've seen one design and they say this must be the only design they must be the first design and they just sort of take it as face value and that's that and that's where it gets very aggressive. So the Minecraft community isn't as good as it once was, um, which is very frustrating. So even my videos, I get some aggressive people saying this is obviously so and so design. Why haven't you credited so and so? Which is just a ridiculous comment. And a lot of my subscribers have picked up on that and do reply to them before I do, sort of telling them what an idiot they are because they are basically idiots for saying that sort of thing because they're very misinformed. Um, so yeah, that's my track of thought there. So we'll just take a quick effort break and I'll carry on. Okay, so we'll go on to the YouTube level. So lately I've been aware of several cases where one YouTuber has directly sort of confronted publicly another YouTuber about certain designs of things and this isn't specified to one particular thing, there's several cases I can think of and it gets very very unprofessional so on YouTube if you have a bad comment on your video if other people see that bad comment and take that to be true so if someone has a comment on my video saying that I don't know, that I've obviously copied someone else there will be people that watch the video which will then read that and say oh this person must be correct therefore this person must have copied it therefore I'm going to hate on this video or I'm going to think badly about this commentator or bad about this YouTube channel so all these just seemingly harmless comments maybe or just slightly bad comments left on a video even if they're there for a couple of hours or something they can hurt a video, they can hurt the channel, they can hurt the actual person himself and they're just mindless hurtful comments no, just slander comments basically, accusations of all sorts doesn't matter if they're true or not, they will still hurt the channel. So when other YouTubers do that to other YouTubers, then that's incredibly unprofessional because when people are saying this is obviously better than yours or saying someone's designing rubbish or something without sort of saying telling them why or saying in a nice way, I can see you've done this, I've done this one for mine and I seem to do okay with that one or something, that's a community side where you work together. The other side is when someone says, basically, mine is this, yours is that, and these are the guidelines, and I'm going to hate on your stuff because it's not good, or I disagree with your opinion, I'm therefore going to publicly shout it out on your comments, and loads of people are going to see it, including my people and everyone else. And when it gets down to that with large channels, no, small channels, people can say stuff to each other and that's fine and uh, people obviously take it more of a, a general thing, a lot of people know each other for small channels and that's fine, the, the comments are relatively harmless 
when they come from bigger channels, then they have huge monetary knock-ons. So if someone hates on a channel, and so they have X thousand subscribers, or million subscribers, or tens of million subscribers, and they hate on a smaller channel, the smaller channel will get a lot of bad abuse. And no one that of that bigger channel will think of that smaller channel in the same way. Doesn't matter how that person actually tried to give over the comment or portray their words in a way which wasn't meant to be offensive or wasn't meant to be sort of blatantly saying you're wrong or I hate you or anything else. It can have a huge knock on and that's where it gets really unprofessional and I have seen some of those cases lately which is very depressing. So the YouTube community was going okay then there was some bad people I think like well things that I disagreed with going on sort of saying your one's not small enough therefore this one's much better because it's smaller not saying oh I've looked at your design and I've made a more compact version would you like to see it and how it works and how I've done it that's one thing but saying my one's smaller my one's better this person's too big hate it don't do it their channel is awful they're bad at redstone that's something pretty different and that's not community so the YouTube community has gone down a bit, I feel. Um, the player community has gone down a lot, I feel. Uh, a lot of big people are kind of draining in new subscribers and new people in from all these massive bursts of new people coming into Minecraft in general, lapping them up, and then people see them as the kind of demigod of Minecraft. Happens a lot. It's something that you can't really avoid, but it's part of the responsibility of the YouTuber to portray themselves in the correct way. Of course, it's their advantage to portray themselves in a way which they are um, more, let's just say, better than the other people. Therefore, people can watch their videos instead of others. If you keep saying, this person's better than me, then eventually those people will go, I think you might be right, we're going to go watch the other person instead. So, it's it's kind of a hard thing to actually um, give anything definitive on because a person that's big has a responsibility to the rest of the community. If they say bad things about the rest of the community, therefore the rest of the community might react badly and therefore the whole community suffers. There's some very big channels which have a big sway in the community and they say certain things and the whole community can change because of that. Now, when some channels, you know, let's say the Ogscast, they have a huge amount of subscribers between them and they have quite a big proportion of all of the Minecraft players. We're talking about sort of enough share of the market such that <laughs> you would be broken apart by fair trading and everything else in England because you'd be taking too much of the market share um, to allow for the rest of the competition to come up. So another thing is that I and I don't think there's many people that have tried to do this, but I've really tried to push hard on this. I make designs, I do my King Design stuff, I do other things for it, I explain stuff in my Let's Play. I really strongly are trying to teach people about the principles behind the builds and why they work and let them understand how it works, why it works, why it's good, why it might not be good, and what the people should use it for. So therefore they can take an informed decision and make their own thing and make it how they want it. They can be proud of building something themselves or copying something that they at least understand how it works in principle and can adjust it if they need to or fix it if they break it. Now, that is being community. That's what I've been attempting to do. And uh, me as a very small YouTuber in comparison to the rest of the people out there, it's it's a huge hill to try and even attempt to climb. And that's been very, very tough but a lot of people do really appreciate my king talks and the way I explain stuff such that no, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it this is the best way to do it I might say this is the best way to do it but I think because of this 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 and this 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 if someone said to me that your design is wrong that's not very constructive if they say I think that you can improve it by doing this this and this then that's fine as well um, but for me I do my own designs, that's what I do, that's what I enjoy. Um, on my Let's Play world, I think I could probably finish the majority of it in the next few months, like finish everything that I wanted to do. Um, 
a lot of people sort of drag it out for a very long time and yes I've only done a few episodes on my single player world and that's sort of equivalent to people that have done hundreds but I'm here to do something I enjoy I'm not here to pump out content um, quality not quantity in my opinion not the best revenue at all not the slightest um, but it's what I enjoy and it's paying off so far uh, for growth wise and everything else and that's the most important time of my channel to grow into a significant size if possible and then you start trying to actually earn some money <laughs> because until then the growth is the most important part um, so yeah it's been fun so far and what I do promote is the design diversity so where channel says I'm going to design this or I'm going to look at this design and say how do I want to change it or what can I do to make it my own doesn't matter if it's not as good or wrong or you can't be wrong but not as efficient as maybe something else they want to do it in their own way it has a different feature to it that design diversity allows people to look at that and say actually I didn't think of that or I like that part of it I might be able to put that in a different design and when that happens in the community then you do become a community because people say I've used this little idea for someone else I've used this little idea for someone else I've got my own bits of design in this and therefore I've come up with an overall new design and that's where progress is made now, people shouldn't be stuck with designing the same thing over and over again building the same farm over and over again because that gets boring now, if you build the same sort of mob farm every single time you build a mob farm then it's just a bit boring isn't it um, I know a lot of people that come into Minecraft now haven't done it before but for us people that have been a little bit longer we don't really want to build exactly the same farm or design or something every single time you do it now some people even me I would build something that was less efficient just to do something different and have some fun um, I might tell the people that it's not the most efficient I can think of or list a different one that I might do instead if you want to do that but we're having fun and that's what really matters so yeah um, people did ask me if I should make a sort of a rant video and I guess this might be um, lately I have been trying to test the waters a bit on my channel trying to do some more normal things that other people do I guess a lot of people just do sort of little farming videos and all that sort of thing and little tutorials on them I've never really looked at them before so last week or so I've been looking at a few farms and things and thinking I never looked at these before but I want to take my first look at them how I would design one and then after I finish designing one I'll then compare it against what other people have done and see what they've done differently so for instance my little nano farm I did with bone mill and things I really like that and I went and designed that and got it working and everything else and then I looked around the actual community and saw what other people did and one of the things that I noticed that I really didn't like was things like the redstone torch burning out people using that as a clock and I don't like that in principle because it's too much of a random variable and it's noisy, I hate the sound for it just my personal opinion so I was really glad that I managed to not do that in my one maybe a little bit bigger because of that but I much prefer it for mine for functionality rather than this silly compactness rubbish um, because you lose some features when you compact normally and one of those things also I found a lot of people had designs which such that you couldn't kind of add hoppers or something onto your dispensers so you can keep really f refilling things so you can AFK for very long and that sort of thing you know, I would like to see that I've done things differently you know, it may be similar to some other people's designs you know, of course it's going to be there's only so many things you can do for a certain farm which are logical um, but I've done it my own way I think I've quite something good there and I really like it and then I find that I've actually got more features on it than I even thought about originally so some people were saying is this good in SMP I've been having lots of problems with people building these in SMP they say and I thought about it and I thought well that's probably because of the rest of the torch burning out it's a very very small delay if you've got lag on your server you're probably either going to skip a couple of rest of ticks or you're not going to give reactions enough in time to plant the seeds so with one of those designs you'll never be able to get it on certain servers whereas I thought when I looked at my one my one's got a inbuilt clock rather than a redstone torch burnout which I can adjust manually so if they have problems on the server they can just make the delay a little bit longer 
until it actually works for them. So all these things I pick up on that I really enjoy building these things and it gives me great joy to show that actually my design is good and you know, even that's my first look and what I came up with is what I thought was logical for me and I'm going to enjoy building it, I've already built it actually in my Let's Play and it works very well, really like it and it's a diversity on the design I've expanded what you can do with them some of the people might change it for everything else they want but it's a positive influence I feel hopefully but I still get people commenting on it saying this is so and design this is so and design this person's done it before this person's done it before so people don't realise that some sort of standard design so a nano farm or a cow farm or a mob farm or a blaze farm or an enderman farm there are some sort of industry recognized standards in Minecraft you kind of do it genuinely this every single time so for nano farm you'd have three dispensers say with bone meal coming out of them on a clock there's only so many different variations of that that make sense um, so when you first designed it before anyone had done it before you're gonna come up with that anyway <laughs> sort of thing I get frustrated with certain mob farms like Endman I'm someone that broke the mold on that I feel um, I do believe my Enderman farm is the best Enderman farm out there, um, the safest, the quickest, and nicest to build probably as well. But if I said that in the community, if I listed that my Enderman farm is the fastest Enderman farm ever, then I would get some more views. I would also attract a lot of fanboys and hate and sort of scrutiny from other YouTubers that sort of just blatantly don't like what I do or think that their design needs defending or something. And I don't want to get into that because I want to be a community. I don't want to be us versus everyone else. So a lot of people have got in their titles the fastest Enderman farm or the fastest farm to level of whatever. And they will get the views before I do, even though I feel my design is better, much better. So when people claim certain things on farms, people do take them as face value. And I always say, my people on the comments and I tell people when I can design stuff don't take them as face value this may be someone that they said you can take it how you want it and you don't have to take it as face value basically um, if someone says something they're not always going to be right not always going to be the most informed games change they may not be correct for the next time period you know, don't take them as face value take them as you can test them for yourself, have a play with them, understand how those things work and then you can have more fun with the game because everything's more fun when you understand what's going on and then you can get more satisfaction out of building something. Now if you make a certain type of mob farm and you don't understand why it works but it works then great you got a mob farm but you don't really get satisfaction out of it because it's it just it's just there, you've copied it off someone, it works and that's it. If you understand how it works and why it works then I think you can enjoy it more. And that's basically how I've tried to develop my channel. I'm getting there. There are certain people that really like how I've done that. There are certain people that find that boring, but I'm a technical channel. No, don't get me wrong. If you don't like technical stuff, then you should probably maybe just stick to the old Hermitcraft episode or a group thing which you do more fun things in. Um, if you're not serious, then you want serious. I give you serious. I'm a rather serious person. And this is how it goes. So I think that is enough talking for today. I think I've got most of my frustrations out today. <laughs> kind of a rent rant. Um I can't really help it. You need to get out sometime. Feel my pain community. Um but yeah, I I will say no, what have you guys sort of noticed from the community if you notice the same things as me do you agree with that sort of thing how do you enjoy building things do you enjoy knowing how they work do you just enjoy copying designs that you off of famous youtubers that you like or something and how, how do you play the game I know a lot of people look at it and say I like your design I'm gonna try and make it my own so change it to how no, just make it different that's brilliant no, that's what I want um, if you make it the same, if you agree that it's the, the same conclusion, that this is what you want to do, that's great as well. But I really want it to be a community, and that's a nicer place to be on a YouTube channel. Um, 
so yeah I don't fan boys or fan girls I want people to join the community and sort of be nice <laughs> um, the Twitter is where I do most of my interaction actually through comments and things so that is the best place to reach me um, I've had some nice fan art through I might share them I'll put them in the description actually I put the two pictures I've had recently in the description and um, so you have a look at them two little bit of fan art that came on my Twitter really nice that the things that people do um, so yeah I've gone a bit long for this so I hope you enjoy the footage it's a little bit crazy at the moment it's <laughs> not very safe so I hope you enjoyed this if you have enjoyed this leave a like yada 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 thank you for joining me guys and I'll see you next time